take you. All of us. All of us. All of us. And we'll let's. We have one more speaker. Thank you. I don't need no commentators or an introduction. They know who I am. Number one, if you watch your security, I bought my security just in case y'all got out of order. Okay. So if y'all think it wasn't gonna be enough, they would've put their hands on one of them babies, you better be sorry and mistake. Trust me when I tell you that. <laughs> Number one, $300,000 plus is a whole lot of money to take from education okay. and allocate it into a, into, into a, military, a military force that's gonna be an occupi occupying presence in our schools. You should be ashamed of yourselves because the science don't support it, the data don't support it, and the need is not there. You talking about one of the safest places on earth to be in right here in Madison, Wisconsin, and you still got, you still got babies being occupied with these forces of Matilla base in their schools. That's number one. T.J. Hurst, you racist, and you a chauvinist. Yes, you are. You are. I watch you on school board meetings. You sit there and you try to shut down every single woman that rise up against you. Every single woman specifically of color. How dare you try to be a covert racist in this kind of a spectrum? You think us, we think we, you think we don't pay attention to everything? I pay attention. I know that you're trying to end Pathways program to replace it with Honors One that funds European children. That's for European excellence. It ain't got nothing to do with people of color. We talking about supporting pathways up in here. We want black excellence. We want Latino excellence. We want our children to have a better chance at a better future and a brighter tomorrow. You don't get to make that decision. Who are you? <laughs> Secondly, when we're talking about the liberating the voices of our youth, in an in the era we talking about evidence-based practices, and you being a hypocrite and go against the evidence and the science, I don't want to hear nothing about you can't fund basic grassroots community programs that got the real solution because they don't practice an evidence-based practice because you exposed yourself with that. So start funding some of these grassroots efforts out here. The third thing, the third thing is this. When you take the taxpayer's dollars and do what you want with it, that's an inconsideration to the needs of the people. We got these children. Their voices have been liberated. They're young organizers. They're up and coming. And the only thing you can do is look at them in disdain and stick security on them? How dare you? Shame on you. We talk about babies. And you got the mindset of an attacker, of a predator. If you think that these men, y'all wish you would have touched one of them babies. It'll have been sent up up in here. Don't you ever approach a child like that again. What's wrong with you? Bottom line is this. Them police in them schools need to go. The science don't support it. The data don't support it. It's not an evidence-based practice. In fact, there's evidence point to the contrary that you all know about. And you racist TJ Merckx, get your mind right. I'm done. All of us. Or not. Or not. Or not.